morning, my name is Steve Rennie. I am the Wren Baron and this is my Wren Baron Learning to Fly YouTube channel. It seems lately that not a week goes by that I don't get an email or a text or a comment on one of my videos asking for some advice about flight simulators. I posted a video a couple years ago of what was then my simulator setup, but a lot has changed in two years, so I thought it's a great time to update that video and talk about how to build a great flight simulator today that will help you become a better pilot. Now, if you've watched my channel before, you know I'm a big believer in the modern technology and its ability to help us manage and do things better. And if you're a serious pilot or a pilot in general, there's never been a better time to get involved with flight simulation. Now I'm going to be honest, building a great flight simulator setup that makes the experience somewhat real is not a trivial matter and requires a number of elements coming together, hardware, software, and plugins and so forth. And on today's video, we're not going to talk about all that stuff. I'm going to leave that for some other future videos. Today? Now I've been asked on more than a few occasions, why did you get a simulator if you actually have a real plane? Rather than try to explain that to you today, I'm going to show show you why. And I think the best way to do that is to show you simulator versus real world. We're going to be flying from Santa Monica Airport, that's Kilo Sierra Mike Oscar, to Bakersfield Municipal, which is Lima 45. Now in the interest of keeping the video length manageable, we're going to start at the whole short line and end as we get off the runway in Bakersfield. I'll post a separate video of both flights, real versus sim, uh, for the pre-flight, which is also important for you to see, and you can watch those at your leisure. So, let's okay, let's do it. Real world versus simulator. Here we are on runway 21 in the simulator, Santa Monica Airport to Lima 45. Come along for the ride. Here's 768 Foxtrot here, Santa Monica Tower, runway 21, clear for takeoff. 21, clear for takeoff, eight Foxtrot here, thank you. All right, so we got trim, flaps, mixture, boost, we're all good. Let's use all of this runway here. Take off here, we're going to go to the LAX 315 radial. And then we're going to turn right turn 250. Um, let's go and show, I want to show you something, make sure you get this. When these two start to come together, that's when we're going to start to make our right turn. I'll hit the heading button here and we will turn to 250. Okay, so let's tilt it up a little bit so I can see out of here. All right, yeah, you can watch my feet down there. I'm going to start this power in here and then I'm going to give it a little right rudder as well. Okay, so let's get it going, get it started. All right, we want 1 1000, 2 1000. 3, 1,000, 4, okay, we're all the way in on our power, eyes down the runway, keep her on the middle here, and I'm going to start to pull back on that stick ever so gently right there, keep her over the runway, there we go, we're off to a good start, now I'm going to try to keep those command bars right together here. Looking for 770, which is our CAPS available altitude. There's 770, there's our CAPS available. Tapping that handle up there. I'm going to go click our indicated airspeed now and push it down for 120, which will get us our speed. And now you can see that these are starting to move, so I'm going to go into heading mode here, and now we're going to go track to 250. Okay, there's 250. The flaps I forgot to put up at 90, now they're coming up. I've done that before, I did it today. Yeah, okay, now we're good. And the way to tell is if you're slower than you think you should be when you've done it a million times, you've probably left your flaps up. Okay, so now we're going to try to get to 120. We're going to stay on that 250 heading. We're going to wait to hear for the frequency change. Santa Monica Tower, 85 trots here. Request frequency change. Here's a Fox Shot Sierra, next to so Call Departure. 
Okay, I'll call the Parks Street Foxtrot Sierra. So, okay, I'll call the Parks Street Sierra 768 Foxtrot Sierra 2700 climbing 3000. Cal departure is Sierra 768 Fox Rod Sierra level 3000. Sierra 768 Fox Sierra, so Cal departure, radar contact, climb maintain 6000. Climb maintain 6000, 8 Fox Rod Sierra. Okay, now let's get our 6000 in here. A little dodgy out of the box here. Let's get 6. Let's go indicated airspeed. Go make it 120. Now let's go up here and catch that. Let's get 6 in there. Okay. Now we got to come together here. Now I got a yellow flight on the manifold pressure. I'm not worried about it just yet. Okay, so now I'm going to go through our climb checklist. Oxygen not required. Power lever is good. Mixture is full rich. Our airspeed is closing in. Electric fuel pump is on. Fuel flow is good. 35. Turn right heading 330. Right 330, 8 Fox Trot Sierra. Okay, so we're going to go 330. Let's turn into it. 330. Okay, so now we're looking good. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get six in there. I'm going to hit it on the autopilot here right now. Give me a little break to get caught up here. Engine parameters are good. Manifold pressure, I'm going to pull it back to 29. Here's up to Fox. Is there kind of still color approach monitor for 4.2? 134.2, 8 Fox Trots here, thank you. We'll go to 134.2. Switch it over. So Cal Approach here is 768 Fox Trots here, 5,700 climbing, 6,000. Here's 768 Fox Trots here, so Cal Approach, the Burbank Altimeter 3007, clear direct twine and join 523 northbound. 3007. Uh, direct twine joint Victor 23 trots here. Okay, let's go down to twine here. Go direct, enter, enter, nav. Okay, and that's going to put us on Victor 23. Uh, one of the things you'll notice when we uh, compare real flight versus the simulated flight, you'll note that the ATC instructions are a lot simpler on pilot edge by just by virtue of the fact that they just don't have an army of controllers to do everything uh, that we do. Okay, so now I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to go to my checklist, my cruise checklist. And so I'm going to go cruise. Okay, oxygen not required. Fuel pump is good. I'm going to pull my power back to 29.5 inches of manifold pressure. Then I'm going to adjust my mixture to get us back to 75%. And that typically will be, will be about 16.2 gallons of fuel flow. So I'm just looking up here right now to get my 75%. And I look over here on the PFD and you see, or the MFD, we got 16. Climb maintain 10,000. Climb maintain 10,000, 8 Fox Trot Sierra. Okay. So now I'm going to go 10,000 on my altitude select. I'm going to go in here and give it full mixture and full power. And I'm going to go indicated airspeed up to 125 is what we're going to do today. Cirrus recommends 120-ish. Um, I don't think it kills anybody to go a little bit. Let's go up here. Um, a little bit lower than that keeps the, my engine, you know, temperatures down a little bit. Gets us up a lot faster. Okay. Um, let's see. We're making good progress to 125. Looking good. Look out to the left, get a beautiful view out toward the Pacific Ocean. And to the right, can't see it there, but that's Burbank over in the off my wingtip, the Hollywood Hills there where the Hollywood sign is. Alright, so let's just see what we got here now. Everything's looking good at the moment. Mixture's good. 
good. Okay, and we're going to get Cruz again here in a second, so we'll have to redo that checklist. So let's go back to the map right now. Ron Victor, 23. Let's go clean up and get a little less clutter. And we're heading for Twine. Now, this flight to Bakersfield is a shortish flight here. Pedo heat is required. Let's go back to, we're going to just leave it in the yellow zone here for just a second. When I'm climbing in the Gen 6, I'm in full power, I'm in full mixture um, every time. If I have a thousand feet to climb, then I might go cruise climb up there uh, just because it's not worth giving a full power, full everything, and we'll get there soon enough. Okay, so we're coming up on 10,000 now here. I'm going to show you my iPad here right now, and let's get uh, let's get this baby set up properly here. We're going to go to Twine, and we're going to go direct to. Let's pop it in here so you can see what I'm doing. And now we're going direct to Twine there, and it looks it looks very similar to what we've got over here. And now my two favorite devices are all synced up here. Let's go ahead and sync up our heading on the Gen 6 version of uh, of the Sierras. There's a feature called Perspective Plus uh, called Heading Sync so that when you're on a GPS course like I am right now, the heading will, will follow all the turns so you never have to sync the heading. Again. Okay, so now we've reached 10,000. Just for yucks, we'll go through that cruise checklist again. Um, okay, go down to oxygen, not required. Fuel pump is off. We're going to set our cruise power back to 29.5-ish. We're going to pull our power back. 75% is what I want. I'm going to pull back my manifold pressure again. Uh, it's tricky. It's a little moving target. Let's get it back to 29. There we go. And now we're going to pull our power back to for 75% and see what that gets us. Okay, we're somewhere 16.1-ish. It doesn't want to quite hold well, now. It's 16.1, so we're looking good right there. Our cruise power is now set. Mixture is good. Engine parameters 1570, 344, 179. Everything's looking good. Let's switch over to our left tank here. Switch to our left tank. And now we are done with that one and we're good. Okay, so next checklist and then back to the map. Okay. Now, as I mentioned, this is a shortish flight today. Okay, and uh, on the Perspective Plus system, um, I have all kinds of information that I get my hands on in, in the cockpit. One of one of my favorites is over here on the uh, over here on the MFD. Um, you can see it right here over on the MFD. There's a little space down here at the bottom. What is going on there? All right. We're getting some kookiness happening there. That was odd. Um, some of those these little quirky things that happen in X-Plane. Um, it first used to kind of bum me out, but what happens is they actually wind up being uh, they wind up being an opportunity to kind of work through like a little aha moment here. So I'm not sure what the heck that was, but we got it sorted out more or less. And it seems to have fixed itself at the moment here. Okay. Um, let's go and get our iPad up here. On our iPad, there's all kinds of information if you don't happen to have a Perspective Plus system here. And uh, one of the things you can do is just go up here and... Um, Pull up an airport on the Cirrus system here. Okay, I would go over to waypoints and I would type in KBFL KBFL up there. It's not working exactly right. All right, so we'll just skip that. Um, anyway, I go on the iPad. You can get all this information. Well, KBFL is the inf if you can see over here um, on the uh, 
on the we got KBFL, which is showing 270 and four knots right now, which uh, is not very windy, and it kind of bodes for runway three four, which is what is which is what we want. Okay, so um, I'm going to go down, and I'm going to put in 122.8, which is my ATIS. For Meadows Field, which is the big airport in Bakersfield, we'll sink that heading again. And um, that's going to give me my weather. So I'm going to go down here right now to my comp tune, and I'm going to start monitoring it right now. One two five two seven eight five trots here. All right, let's go to two seven. Run one two five two seven. Watch it over. LA Center Sierra seven six eight five trots here. Level one zero ten thousand. Seven six eight five trots here. Los Angeles Center. The Palmdale altimeter three zero one seven. Three zero one seven eight five trots here. Go three zero one seven here. Now uh, we got the weather it was two hundred seventy degrees here. Let's go see. If that's what we got two seventy four. So I'm going to go ahead and load the approach for runway three four, which is the GPS approach. Let's come up close so you can see what I'm doing. I've got three four GPS L nav approach. The Initial approach fix, I want to be Lebec. Why? Because it's already in our flight plan, so that makes it nice and easy. I know from uh, the other day that 840 is our... Actually, we got to go 840 here. Old school on the sim. I can't just dial it in like I can on mine. There's 840. That's the minimum. So we're going to enter, enter, and load that approach. Now we're going to look at it here. Okay, so now what we've got here is... A couple of duplicate entries here. We're going to solve that problem in a minute because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and go direct to Lebec and just skip these two here. If I delete those on the sim, it actually kind of messes things up a little bit, so we're not going to do that. Now, if you look straight out ahead of us, that is uh, we're going to be flying over the grapevine um, here in. Los Angeles here. It's a big freeway that runs from basically from all the way to San Diego, way up north, up to almost Sacramento-ish. Uh, this little patch right in here is called the Grapevine, uh, so named because the road kind of winds through all of these mountains. Okay, now we're getting some low fuel quantity issues here. I'm going to look over here on my PFD and see that I'm going to fuel on destination is 20 gallons, so I'm actually going to be just fine here. Now, the tricky part of this little flight to Bakersfield is we're at 10,000 on an IFR plan. If we were on a VFR plan, we'd be lower and the descent into L45 would be a lot uh, less dramatic. Um, if we were flying in a G6 the descent would likely be a little less dramatic because you can put flaps in at 150 knots on the Gen 6. On this particular flight model of the G3, it's 119, call it 120 knots. So um, that's what we're dealing with. And so we're going to have to manage that by keeping our speed under control. And that's going to be our challenge as we get up here ahead. Okay. Our Five nine or four to ground on way two four taxi alpha. One one eight point six is the uh, eight is for. Meadows Fields. I'm going to put that over into COM1, COM2 active. Instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information November. Meadows Field, Bakersfield, California. ATIS information November. 1954 Zulu. Wind 260 F4. Visibility 4. Hey. Sky condition clear. Temperature 15. 
2.1, altimeter 3017, arriving and departing runway 30 left, 30 right. Okay, I'm not really interested in what runway um, they're coming in on over there because we're not landing there. But it gives an idea of what our winds are. Three, four will work fine for us here. Okay, so now as we approach Gorman here, uh, we want to be going to Lebec after that. That was on our flight plan. That's also going to be the start of the RNAV three, four. So we'll get a change of controllers up here in a second. In the meantime, let's go enjoy the view out the back here. As you can see off my wingtip is the uh, 5 freeway that's winding through the mountains here on the grapevine. Some fun little views you can do here on, uh, here we've got another little wacky move there on uh, X-Plane. That's some terrain folks here, that's, that's definitely not Florida right there. By the way, these are kind of baby mountains here by uh, California standards. Uh, an attention getter, as you see, if something went haywire here, I don't know that I would love the idea of putting the plane down on the five. Um, there's a few places up here in these mountains where it's flat-ish, some high plains and stuff, which if you had to ditch it with the... Uh, parachute you could get away with it now as you can see straight ahead here once we get over that last little peak we're going down <laughs> into the uh, central the beginning of the central valley which runs all the way up to northern california and uh, this is where we're going to have to manage our speed a little bit so at any rate uh, we're going to stay in it until he calls us up and gives us something to do here let's go take a look at all our stuff we got castaic to gorman we've got 6.4 miles uh our tanks are about on the same. I'm going to switch over here to my right tank just to keep these babies evened up proactively. Okay, five nine four tower, that's approved. Left down departure approved runway two four. Quick for takeoff. All right, so there's always something to do, uh, I've learned when, when I'm flying. It's nice to try to be a little bit of a passenger or a spectator, but uh, you got a job to do, and that's to make sure that you got everything covered. So let's just go up here again, and we'll see. I'm just checking all my instrument temperatures. Temperatures are all looking good. Our fuel tanks are balanced. We're going to finish with 20 gallons, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, we're going 148 knots, which is fine for right now, but we're going to need to slow down once we get past Gorman. And, uh, and then we're going to have to manage our descent in here best we can. Uh, and that will be our little piloting challenge for today. And a good one to, to compare with how we're going to do it in the Gen 6 tomorrow. LA Center, Sierra 768, Foxtrot Sierra at 1010,000. Are you going to be switching me to Bakersfield approach here in a second? Uh, about another seven miles, but I'm unable to give you lower at this time. Uh, you're unable uh, or you are able? Uh, unable. That's what I thought. Okay, thank you. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We are cranking along here. He can't give us lower, so it doesn't matter how fast we're going right now. Okay, um, let's go over to our map here. We don't want that. Scott, K59, Cox departure. Now, Lebec at 5,700 is not going to happen. I can tell you that right now. Our final approach fix, our initial approach fix is Lebec. Our final approach fix is Abkud 
at 2,000 feet. So I'm going to write that down yeah, on, on my radar contact, maintain VFR, the forward and Our field elevation here is 378 feet here. Sierra 768 Fox, Sierra, traffic 11 o'clock, 3 miles, northeastbound, very fast moving, indicating 11,000, type unknown. Looking for the traffic, 85 Trot Sierra. Traffic here. Okay, now I can also get traffic on my iPad here. I don't get it on my. Here, St. Boxer, so that factor, there's traffic here, 3 o'clock, should pass behind you, 2 miles southwest bound, very fast, but yeah, they're going to pass behind you. I see him on my screen, I don't see him in reality. Okay, well, thank you. CSA Fox Trust here, Baker Shield Approach, 118.8. 118.8, thank you, 85 Trust here. 118.8, now we can talk to him about approach. Let me start to slow down now. Bakersfield approach, Sierra 768 Fox Shot Sierra, level 10, 10,000 uh, approach request. Sierra 768 Fox Shot Sierra, Bakersfield approach, the Bakersfield 73017, go ahead. Uh, I'm looking for the RNAV GPS 34 approach for L45. 768 Fox Shot Sierra, Roger, expected from Lebec, descend and maintain 9,000. Uh, expected from Lebec, descend and maintain 9,000, 85 Shot Sierra. All right, so I'm going to go 9,000 on my altitude select. I'm going to go push this and get it to go down there pretty quick. And then we're going to go up here and go direct Lebec, direct enter, enter. And now, as you can see up here on our EFD, we got direct Lebec, and it also indicates an initial approach fix. So now we have activated the approach. We still have to arm it. So now I'm going to pull back my power here as low as I can, which is about 20% now. Now, I'm going to tell you, the difference between flying a sim and flying a real plane is there's quirks in the software of X-Plane. And one of the quirks is going to be when I go down here to... Let's go back down here. If I go down here to adjust the mixture, it takes a bit there's for... Some, X Fox is here across the back header above 6,300. Clear on average, runway 3-4 approach. Cross Lebec Adder above 6300 cleared for the RNAV 34 approach. 85 shots here, thank you. Okay, so we're going to arm the approach now. Okay, that's arm. Okay, we got 6300. We're going to go put in 6300, but we're going to blow past that. I know it, so I'm going to give us down to 1200 feet, and I'm going to pull that two, power back. Call for radar services terminated. Connect San Luis Tower 124.0. Over the tower, Scar 208 Golf Golf. Now I'm going to sit here and see if I can, we're not going to get to Lebec at 6300, that's for sure. So when I'm looking over here now on my MFD and the final approach fix is 2000, there's a 3000 in UMCAS, so I'm going to go ahead and be proactive and type or lo load in 3,000, keeping an eye on my altitude, but knowing there's no way I'm going to get to 6,300 by the time we get to Lebec. So I'm just taking care of a little business ahead of time there. I've got my speed as under control as I can be right now. I'm going to switch back over to my left tank to make sure that I keep these things balanced. I've armed the approach. It's activated and armed. You can see the GPV tells you that it's armed. We're going 1,200 feet a minute, and we're at 7,500 Lebec, and now we're making this little turn to the left here. Still got my speed under control, which is good. Some of these tower scarf 208 Golf Golf is on the RNAV 29 approach. Back to zero, Sink that heading two again. Nine, 
So I got my heading synced here. We're going down now to 3,000 feet. We're going to keep an eye on my flight plan here, which is... There's, there's Umkau right there at 3,000. I don't know if we're going to make Umkau. We got three, seven miles. Let's go over here on our PFD. We're going to try to get our synthetic vision working today. <coughs> okay, so we got 3,300 feet to uh, get to 3,000 at Umkau. I don't know if we're going to get there or not. Let's go outside and take a look and see how it looks. Fifty five hundred at twelve hundred feet a minute, we get another twenty four hundred minutes or twenty four hundred feet in the next couple minutes. And we're gonna get close for Umkau at three. <clears throat> now our speed is nice and stable here. Now, the reason I'm so conscious of this approach is I've flown into Bakersfield, uh, KBFL, Meadows Field, a, a few times. And the last couple of times, there was a little bit of a gap, six-month gap in between doing them. And it's so easy to get going here and not be paying attention of what's happening three or four steps ahead of you. And if you do that, coming over that grapevine, and all of a sudden, boom, there's the airport. Um, I've made some very steep, not recommended them. Uh, approaches into Meadows Field and, and I've learned my lesson you got to stay well ahead of the game on this one and uh, it's one thing flying in your local area where I flying this in another neighborhood uh, these are the things that the lessons that stay with you and uh, that you want to make sure that you don't make some bonehead maneuver okay so now it's starting to look like I'm going to make that three at uh, Umkau so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go start lightening up and flatten it out a little bit. So we're going now 900 feet a minute. We're going to go ahead and load 122.8 up top. Since there's only one frequency there at L45. Okay, there's our 3,000. Okay, and now we're making that turn for home now, which is perfect. Okay, now we're going to keep going down to 2,000 feet now. Let's get a vertical speed. Let's keep going. Foxtrot Sierra for IFR cancellation. I'm approaching the air on this frequency. We're on the ground on 12.2. Change to advisory frequency approved. I'm going to cancel IFR right now and switch to the advisory 8 Foxtrot Sierra. You said you want to cancel IFR? Affirmative, 8 Fox Trots here. 2 8 Fox Trots here, IFR cancellation received. Radar service is terminated. Squawk can maintain VFR, frequency change approved. Squawk can VFR, frequency change approved. 8 Fox Trots here, thank you. Switch over to VFR now. And now let's switch over our comms to 122.8. Now we've got good speed going here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, flaps in here. I'm going to hold that nose down. If you haven't flown a series, I'll tell you the first thing you'll notice is when you put those flaps in, particularly at a buck fifty, that plane wants to jump up. So you got to kind of hold that nose down with a little conviction there um, to keep it, let it get centered in there. Okay, so we're coming up on 2,000. I'm going a little too fast to get to 2,000. I'm going to just lighten it up to. 400 feet a minute. Now, I didn't use VNAV on this one. Usually, I, I use VNAV, but when I'm coming over a big hill like that where I know there's going to be some steep descents, um, I prefer to do that consciously on my own rather than just turn that over to the plane here. Okay? So, actually, I got good speed now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to push this mixture full now and watch there's going to be all kinds of wackness. So, I'm going to do some adjusting here and I'm going to make believe it happened in the plane and I'm going to just focus on my speed here. So, 
There it is. I'm going to go full power and then try to pull it back here a little bit. There we go. 30. Yeah, okay. Not bad. Not bad there. Okay, so we get 40% power-ish would be about where I'd be right now. And we're looking good. We're coming up on the 2,000 at Apcud. And two miles, we're at 2,000. So I'm going to keep our speed at 45%. 45% power at about a buck ten, which is good speed right now. Because we should be running into the glide path here shortly. I can see the runway out ahead of us here. Very hazy here. This is just the way it would be in Bakersfield. This little valley here can get very thick with fog on some days. Um, today would be manageable VFR. But I'm flying as many IFR flights as I can because I'm always preparing for the day when I have to do this for real. And uh, the IFR discipline and that constant monitoring what's going on is a great, great uh, attention getter. And uh, I really enjoy it. Okay, so we're coming up on the final approach fix. We should be grabbing that glide path here in a second. And there we go. We got the glide path. Love it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is uh, power is very touchy. I'm going to keep it at 30% power here. We're looking good. See what's going on right there. We're a thousand feet to minimums. Okay, now I'm going to put in my 3,000 for my missed approach. I'm going to go over to my plates here for a second, and I'm going to go and try to take a look, quick look at my airport diagram. I want to get off on Delta see if I can get off on Delta. To do that, I'm going to really have to nail the front end of this runway here. So let's uh, see if we can make that happen. Let's see where we are. Let's get rid of that top part here so you can see where we are. We're going, actually I'm a little off because I didn't set it over here. Uh, let's go back to our over the shoulder look. Okay, we're now coming up. So I'm going to go Bakersfield Muni uh, traffic, Silver Cirrus uh, 1400 on a three mile final for 3-4 Bakersfield Muni traffic. Okay, we've got two miles to the runway. Okay, right about here, I'm going to put in my second notch of flaps. I'm going to hold this nose down here, pull a little power. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off of autopilot right now. Just fly around by hand. Now, strangely, my synthetic vision isn't working today. So for all of the pilots who hate synthetic vision today, I've been forced to be flying at old school. All right? It's okay. Now, for the record, I'm looking out that cockpit, and I'm also looking down here on my command bars. Okay? Um, this glide path is going to take me all the way in there really nicely. Now I'm just going to look up a little bit so you can get this is the view I'm looking at out the window. So now I'm just going to concentrate now. Our mixture's all the way full. I want to see if I can get off by that first taxiway. Now we want to be at about 77 knots over those numbers. Let's see if I can get there. Keep that nose coming down under control. Let's keep that nose coming down. Power coming out. Let's see if we can get it right. When we hit that fence, let's get that front of the runway. Let's get, see if we can get off on Delta. Runway is made. All right, put it right down the middle there. Yeah, I'm going to put my flaps up. I got this. All right, good job. All right, let's get her off the runway here. There's my fuel tanks. All 
All right, Bakersfield Muni traffic, Silver Cirrus off runway 34, taxiing to the fuel pumps. Bakersfield Muni.